Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Naveen. And you guys had three kind of big announcements around networking here yes. at Discover, and I was wondering if you could walk me through those. Sure. Um, so the first announcement was around our distributed cloud networking offering, which is really our network virtualization solution, which allows you to have policy-based definition um, and provisioning for security and QoS policies that your application needs across the underlying infrastructure. And uh, so far, our DCN solution was providing capabilities for virtual machines and bare metal workloads. Now we are extending that to provide um, the same flexibility and, and facilities for Docker containers. Um, and I mean, if you could just, I mean, because obviously people can install Docker yeah. already, but how, how is that uh, kind of improve the containerization? Yeah, so when you look at applications, right, um, especially web-based applications, you have these uh, policies which are defined for the applications itself. So a typical three-tier application has a web tier, and database tier, and an application tier. And you want the web tier to be able to talk to just the database tier, for example, and not go beyond that from a scope of you know deployment standpoint. And so those policies need to be translated into the underlying infrastructure policies so that you can provision ACLs and you know QoS policies if needed for Skype for Business, for example. And all of that needs to happen in an automated fashion. Um, and that's the capability that distributed cloud networking, which is an offering from HPE, uh, brings in. And we are now able to take that same flexibility and functionality and bring it to containers so that now, if you're deploying an app using containers um, across containers or VMs or bare metal servers, you get the same seamless experience. Nice. All right, so yeah. what was the second announcement? Yeah, the second one is around uh, what we call HPE IMC, which is Intelligent Management Center, which is the management platform which is very popular in the industry today for networking. And the integration that that's happening, having with uh, OneView 3.0. Now, OneView 3.0, of course, is a, is a management platform for server storage and networking. And the good thing about 3.0 is it takes you to the composable infrastructure world so that you get the fluid pools of resources, unified API, and the software-defined intelligence. And now with this integration, you can provision everything at the one view la layer, and the underlying network provisioning happens automatically through the IMC integration. And, and so that's really the really kind of around, if, if you want to do heavy lifting with the network, you still, you still probably want to use IMC. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there are customers who still have the server team and the networking team as dedicated teams within data centers. So if you really want to get deep down and dirty with networks, uh, you might want to you know, spin up IMC on its own and then you know, go configure stuff using its UI. Uh, but if you're at a higher level, just configuring things with one view, um, you could get away without even spawning IMC because it happens in the programmatic interface. And, I, and you've got one more announcement that we need to talk about. Yes, yes, what we're calling the drive to 25. And so you know, we are asking our customers to take the 25 gig express lane. <laughs> and really what that means is we now have end-to-end -end portfolio from HPE which enable you to migrate your data centers to the 2500 gig phenomena that's happening. And that's 25 gig at the server side, server to network connectivity, and 100 gig at the core. Uh, this brings in tremendous uh, you know, advantages from an economic standpoint. You get about 30% reduction in cooling costs, 56% increase in bandwidth. And now you get the ability to do this across the board from servers to the uh, NIC cards, to the transceivers, to the cables, to the switches end to end using HPE. And do you get that even with like the Aruba stuff as well, or, or is that um, still? Yeah, it's not primarily there? the data center area. Aruba stuff is still, you know, the wireless is around the uh, 11 AC uh, platform, and the edges are still in the gig, gig Ethernet, I would say. Um, this this need for speed is actually coming from the data center, to be quite honest. I mean, because the applications are all driving this traffic within server-to-server -server communication, internal to data center, and that's why we are seeing this, you know, upgrade opportunities. Makes sense. Well, thank you for uh, sure. giving me a rundown of the, the three announcements. Great. Thanks a lot for having me.